Hello guys, welcome back to another video then I'm back with of course two guesses today. We're doing Lee One transfers, then a Lee Two transfers will be out probably Wednesday, probably. Um wait, no it's Tuesday, it's Tuesday. Um <laughs> I forgot I forgot my days. Uh I've got two special guests I've called Joe Terry, you know mate? Yeah, good, thank you, Bailey. And I've got Alex Duncan. You know it, mate? Alright, yeah. So, let's get into it, Joe. First team. First team of League One, we've got is Barnsley. They've signed a couple of players, but um, guys, I'm going to tell the players that you will know. They've signed Corey O'Keefe, a right back from Forest Green. Andy Dallas from Solil Moors, he was at Chesterfield. Uh, Max Waters, a uh, striker. And Ben Killip from Hartlepool. I would probably rate their transfers. I'll probably give them six and a half out of ten. I think there's more signings to be done. Obviously, they got rid of Mad Sanderson and Brad Collins, and I feel like they need to do more. Yeah, I'm gonna give them a seven. Uh, like you said, they they need to do more, in my opinion. Um, they've done okay transfers. So I've got they got rid of their main centre back though. To uh, was it Luton? Um, yeah, look at Mads Anderson, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, Mads Anderson. yeah, that's their main centre back. So, yeah, I'm going to give them a seven. Alex? Um, they're going to hate me, but I don't care. I'm going to say a five out of ten. It doesn't really impress me. So, mm. yeah. Next team, Joe? The next team. One second. So, the next team we've got is Blackpool. They've signed <clears throat> Matthew Pennington from Shrewsbury, Albie Morgan from Charlton, Richard O'Donnell, Oliver Norborn from Peterborough, and Carl jo Joseph from Swansea. I'm going to give this one an eight. I think that's quite a good business, what they've done. Um, they haven't obviously spent as much. Obviously, well, they lost Jerry Eight to Swansea. So they've still got to spend, and so far, I'm impressed with Blackpool signings. Yeah. I agree. I'm gonna give them a seven and a half though. Um, yeah, I think it could be at eight, but I think they might need to get some more new, um, players. So yeah, um, I'm gonna give them a seven and a half. Alex, I'm going for a nine. I think impressive signings, but I'm sure they've signed Oli Norburn as well. Yeah, Oliver Norburn from here, right? Yeah. He's a former Trammy player. Obviously, Matty Pennington is a former Trammy player. I want to say, uh, I think that's some decent signings. Norburn, he's hit and miss, but he's, de he's, he's, he's average, but he's decent. But, so, yeah, I'm going to say them. I'm going to say nine. Nine. Fair enough. The next team we've got is Bolton. They've signed Duncan's Josh Codley. From Tranmere, they've signed Nathan Baxter from Chelsea and Joel Coleman from Ipswich. Um, they've also got other signings like, like Will Forestieri, centre back from Port Vale, and Carlos Mendes. I would give this probably an eight and a half. I'm mean, again, I'm impressed with Bolton's signings, and especially that you got Will Forrester with Ricardo Centre and Mendes from Luton. Yeah, um, I'm impressed with them. Uh, I know they of course, um, they're. Did I sign a goalkeeper? Yeah, they signed two. They got Baxter from Ipswich. Oh, sorry, Chelsea. And then Joel Coleman from Ipswich. So, yeah, I think that's good. After, of course, they got rid of Shrafford. They probably need um, a right back, another one. Um, of course, after um, getting rid of, of course, Colin Bradley, who was on loan at Liverpool. That worked? Yeah, it's called Colby. Colby's a right back. Yeah, I know, but... Yeah, but, yeah, but Benny means, like, a backup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, I think Bolton done okay. I'm going to give him a six, though. Duncan? I'm sorry to say this, Bolton fans, but I can't stand you. I'm saying a three. <laughs> I can't stand <laughs> Bolton. I can't trust Duncan. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I'm sorry, but the, like, the goalkeeper out of the south of Mooseridge... He's meh. He's crap. Yeah, he's crap. He's back still. So, yeah. Next. Next one we got is Bristol Rovers. They've signed Giovanni Brown from Exeter. Decent. George Friends from Birmingham. 
James Wilson from Plymouth, and they've signed like two other players from Brentford. So overall, I'm going to give this one a six. Seven for me. Yeah, I'm going to give them a five for me. They've had um, uh, okay transfers, I guess. Uh, people think they'll be near playoffs this season, but uh, I can't see it. I don't think they've got the squad. They probably need to sign two or three more players, but yeah, I'm going to give them a five. Fair enough. The next team we've got is Burton Albion. We all like Burton. We all like Burton. We all like Burton. They've also they've signed Mason Bennett on a free from Millwall. They've signed Max Crocombie from Max Crocom. That's the one from Grimsby. They've also signed Jake Caprice from Exeter, and they've also signed Cole Stockton. So this one, I'm going to give for Burton. I'm going to give him seven point five. I'm saying an eight. I'm, I think, uh, yeah. I'm saying I think eight. Cole, I think Cole Stockton is a deadly striker. Obviously, he was hit message from me, but I think from a hit, from the last few seasons he's had, he's been really good. So I'm going to give him an eight. Yeah, I'm going to give him an eight as well. I think they've had, of course, a good transfer window. Um, of course. I'm sorry, Burton fans, but I think you will go down still. Um, but yeah, uh, I think you have had a good transfer window, so yeah. I have a sweet Jake Priest back at Trump, yeah? Anyway, every day of the week, I think it'd be perfect. But obviously, it didn't happen. So, with Bailey's prediction, Duncan, you might um, see him in uh, Prenton Park. Maybe. All right, we'll start with Cambridge now. We've got, they've signed Sully Cook, Kai Kai, or Kai Kai, from MK Dons. Sully Kai Kai. Yeah, that's one. Jordan Cousins from Wigan, and Gassan Ahabni. They've signed over two other players, but I will probably give them a four. I think, bear in mind, they just straight relegation. I think they need to do a lot better. Yeah. I'm going to give them a four and a half. Like you said, I think they need to do better after just staying up as well. I think they, and of course they've sold two of their main players. Like they need more players in. Of course, after selling, um, is it now Howie Nibs? If I got that right, and um, Smith. Um. So yeah, I think with them two main players, I think they need more players in. So I'm gonna go four and a half. Yeah, so the next team we've got... Whoa! 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 whoa. Joe, I yeah, have some mind. Well, um, sorry, lads, it's normally me and Bailey, so that's why I normally skip. <laughs> with Smith, former Trummy player, he wasn't that good for Trummy, in my opinion. Obviously, for him in League One, he's decent. But going back to Redding, where he started his career... I think for that side, I think that's good. But for the others, I'd probably say a five out of ten. Okay. That's up. <laughs> yes. Me fun. Right. So we got Carlisle now. They've signed Sean McGuire from Coventry. They've Did he used to play for Preston? Yes. Yeah, Coventry. Yes. Yeah. I've and seen him Coventry, play. Coventry Scored the winner against Birmingham. Birmingham City. Oh, I love it. He, love to see it. So they've got Sean McGuire, they've got Ben Barkley, Finn Back, Alfie McCarmont, and Sam Lavelle. Um, I'll probably give this one a seven. I think they've got some of the players they had in League Two. Um, Sean McGuire, I think if he, when he's fit, I think that will be vital for them, especially with experience. He's only signed one year contract. He's signed one year contract, Joe Phil. Go to Tramit and most of your players are one year contract there. <laughs> most. Not all. Right. I'm going to rate it a 6 out of 10. Okay. Oh, that's Joe not done it? I said 7. Oh, okay. Um, um, yeah, I'm going to give him a 6. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think... It's all white, but it ain't the best. So I'm saying 6. So the next one we've got is Charlton. They've signed Harry I- Eistead 
from Luton on a free, Alfie May, Taya Redu, and Kamara from Ipswich. I will probably give this one, again, another seven. I like Harry Eisted. He was brilliant on loan at Barnsley, and Barnsley should have signed him. Alfie May is a good striker. And also, Kamara, if he stays fit, he's a really good centre mid. So I'm going to give him a 7.5. Alex? I'm going to go for the best one. A 10 out of 10. Alex, you took my words. That's what I was just about to say. Yeah, it's ten out of ten because yeah. Um, May, quality striker. He's really good on FIFA as well. So yeah, Look I, at I think FIFA. Charlton will go up next year. They'll go up, guaranteed. Oh, to be honest, people think Charlton will get playoffs this season, and it won't surprise me if they do, because uh, uh, no, nah, I think they'll get a the top two. Never mind that. Because I think they've got a great squad. Alfie May can score goals like, was it like 20 goals or something last season? For, oh, Shel- sure. for Shelton. And, and Corey Blackie-Taylor plays for Charlton as well. Yeah, so. So, uh, I think they have a great squad and I'm going to go 10 out of 10 as well. <laughs> I hope you guys agreed on that. Right, next time we got is Cheltenham. They've signed Luke Southwood from Reading. Decent keeper, I've heard. And Curtis Davis. They had Rob Street, who was on loan at Shrewsbury, I'm pretty sure, last season. So for this transfer alone, I'm probably going to give it a four. Again, same as Cambridge. You're near the relegation battle. You need some more signings. One. One. I'm going to go minus one. That's <laughs> Right, next one is Derby County. They've signed Joe Ward, Callum Elder, Curtis Nelson, Kane Wilson, Connor Washington and Josh Vickers. For me, this is probably one of the best transfers. I would probably give this a nine. I'm just saying here. Kane Wilson, quality player. Quality. Unbelievable. I played him on FIFA as well. I actually have these on FIFA. Yeah, ever, ever, ever think he just talks about FIFA now? If he's bad, he'd be like, minus. <laughs> no, nah, he's actually a good player. Okay. I'd say he's better than Cogley. Jesus. I'm going to go nine and a half. Yeah. Right, so the next one we're going to do is... Ex- Alex, what did you rate Derby, by the way? No. No. Next one we've got is Exeter. They've signed a goalkeeper from Aston Villa on low. I can't remember his name. Alex. Yeah, baby, might have me on Is that. it um, Sinisars? Something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, from Finland. Uh, Zach Jules from MK Dons. They've also signed Tom Carroll on a free agent. And that's pretty much the only players I know. I mean, there's Dion Ranking from Chelsea, but I've never seen a play. So for this one, I'm just going to give him a Again, another four. There's lots of fours on this one, but... I will go four as well. Yeah, um... But Tom Cowell... He just... was a good player. He was a good player years ago when he was at Spurs and bloody Swansea. He was decent, but now... No. Yeah, um, let's just start from a goalkeeper. Sinisar, so... Really good keeper. Um, I reckon he's a league one keeper in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him a four and a half. Mm, fair enough. Right, we're gonna just go with Fleetwood now. They've signed Ryan Broom from Cheltenham, Danny Mayer from Plymouth, and Adam Montgomery from Celtic on loan. Adam Montgomery. That's the one. For this one. I'm actually going to give him a good prize. I'm going to give him a six. I think mean, Ryan Broom and Danny Mayers are good signings. Um, League One experience. And um, yeah, he's playing with trouble for Plymouth, so I'm giving him a six. Seven. I'm going to give him a seven and a half. Seven and a half, right. Next one is Leighton Orient. So they've signed Max Saunders from Lincoln. Good signing. Idris Al-Masuni, 
Dan Adji, Joe Pigger, and Elliot Gal. Was it Alex Manuel? Galbraith. That's what I was going to say, Galbraith, but I don't want to butcher it. Overall, again, <laughs> I don't know who they got their goalkeeper. I know they signed Sam Howell, but if he's going to replace the guy that went to Burnley. So for this one, again, I'm going to give it a seven. I think I'm really impressed with Lane Lawrence Simons. I'm giving him for another big one. A nine and a half. I'm gonna go at eight. Um, yeah, I like I like those Is It's different gravy. It's different gravy. All right, mate. All right, mate. If he was at the me, I'd hit You boss. Me yeah. too. Guaranteed, you boss it. I think I think it's a good transfer window, so I'm gonna get from at eight. Yeah. So the next one we've got is Lincoln. They've got Jaden Brown from Sheffield Wednesday, Tyler Walker from Coventry. He's gone back there, and they got Rico Hackett from Portsmouth. I'll probably give this one a five because the other three I know, the rest I don't know. I only know Tyler Walker, and he was really good at Lincoln. So I'm going to give it a five. Six. That Hackett uh, from Portsmouth is actually a quite good player. Um, of course, the graphical Tyler Walker, I think he's a good player. I'm going to give him a six and a half. Fair enough. Next one is Northampton. They've signed Manny Morphe, who is known from Tremor, as I can tell you. Tyree Simpson from Huddersfield used to play for Ipswich. And they've signed two youngsters in Kieran Bowie from Fulham and Mark Leonard from Brighton. Again, I'm going to give this one a six. I don't know. The other two who I mentioned, the two kids from Fulham and Brighton, I heard great things about. The others I'm not really sure about, so I'll probably give them a six. I'm going to say a five. I think Manny Montvay, he's not great for a League One club, but he's not that great. For a lead two club, he's better. Well, I mean, it's just my opinion. So, yeah, a six. Yeah, I'm going to give him a four. Um, yeah, not the best. I um, think they need some more players in, to be fair. Um, and, yeah, four. Okay, next one we've got is Oxford. They've signed Mark Harris on a free. Ruben Rodriguez from Lutz County. Jordan Thornley from Blackpool. Stanley Mills from Everton. And Josh McKetron. I'm going to give this one a five. Mainly because Ruben, I've heard Ruben Rodriguez is sick. Josh, um, Josh is it that like Josh McKetron that you used to play for Middlesbrough? Yes, and Chelsea and all that. Yeah. You know... You know um, Coronation Tree? You know who plays Sophie Webster? I know. Do you know why? Because, because they walk past me. Uh, and, Sophie, and Sophie looked like a miserable little cat. All right, all right lads. lads. <laughs> We're on a YouTube channel. Come on. Who cares? Jesus. Alex Duncan versus Brooke Fenton. <laughs> what, uh, what is your out of um, 10? I'll say four. I only know Rodriguez. Like McEtron, when he's fit, he's all right. But yeah, I'm gonna give him a four. Zero. Oh, I'm gonna give him a minus zero. How's that a thing? <laughs> uh, I That's just, not a thing. Yeah, no, I just had it. Minus no. zero. Uh, I'll go a minus one. Nah, actually, yeah, I'll go um, minus. Next one we're gonna do, we can do Peter Barra. No, I'll go one. I... I'll go one. Right, okay. We'll go Peter Barrow, they've signed Archie Collins from Exeter. They got the Tishin Mango, Mangi from. Yeah, I know you all about. Yep, yeah, good. Peter Chiozzo from Rotherham on loan. And they've also signed Trisha Lowe, who was on loan at Bradford. Everyone raved about him. Obviously, Peter Barrow got him from I'm going to say an eight. I was going to give it a seven. I'm going to go seven as well. Next one we have is Portsmouth. They've signed Pompey Blue Will Boys. Norris. They've signed Portsmouth. Um, sorry, Will Norris from Burnley. Uh, Regent Paul from Lincoln. Ben Stevenson from Coach Green. Gavin White from Cardiff. And yeah, they've signed obviously Anthony Scully as well. 
So I will probably give this a nine as well, same as Derby. I'm impressed with Portsmouth and Simons. Seven. I'm gonna go nine as well. So we got Port Vale next. They've signed a goalkeeper, Connor Ripley from Morecambe. They've signed Ivan Cheslett from uh, Wimbledon, Jason Lowe from Salford, and Connor Grant. I'm probably going to give it a five because I've heard of Ripley and Cheslett, but I don't know about the others, so I'm going to give them a five. And Jason Lowe, I'll give them a five. I'm saying a four. I'm going to give them a six. Oh. Right, so we got Reading. They've signed Charlie Savage from Manchester United, Lewis Wing, Harvey Nibbs, and Sam Smith from Cambridge. I'm going to give this one a three. I know they're in a embargo and things like that, but you've just been relegated. You need to do more signings and sign free transfers, in my opinion. I'll say five. I'm going to go seven. Okay. So, we've got a Shrewsbury. They've signed Morgan Feeney from... Carlisle, we've got Carl Winchester from Sunderland, and also Joe Anderson and Elliot Thorpe. Then there's more signings by the way, guys. I'm just literally naming people one might know. Um, I'm going to give them a five, I think. Four. Three. Because I think shoes will go down because the manager that they've got is, is Matt Taylor. He's not great. Yeah, it's not great. They'll be facing Tramia next season. Yeah. Sorry, but when we get promoted, we should put Tramia in the playoffs, didn't you, lad? Yeah, I did say you would get promoted, though. Yeah, that's that's like, I like how Benny says it, and he, put, he was the one who put him in the playoffs. If you haven't seen it, go on, it's Duncan's League 2 uh, predictions. Um, there you go, Is anyone watching? Probably not. Is it video, you muppet? As I say, it's, it's Benny's, like, video, it's on his camera. So, we've got my, uh, my Stevenage, we've signed Tay Ashby Hammond, Dan Butler, Free Thompsons, and Harry Anderson. I will probably give this one a six, I think, mainly because I love Ashby Hammond, and um, I'm looking forward to see what everyone else does in that team. I'm giving it a 9.5. Yay! I'm going to give them a 10. No, I'm joking. Oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm going to give him an eight and a half. Okay. Shut up, Joe. Shut up, Joe. Right, so next one we've got is Wigan. So they've signed Watts from Newcastle, Callum and Manaman, Sean Clare from Charlton, and two Smiths from Burton and Arsenal, respectively. And also Liam Shaw from Celtic. For me, I'm going to give this one a five. I don't know much about them. If I know, if I missed anything out, please tell me, but I'm going to give it a five. I only know one player that was actually playing for Chummy. Come at moment, average player. I'll give it a four. I'm going to go four as well. Don't really know many, so yeah, I'm going to go four. Yeah. Alright, so the last team in League One we've got is Wickham. They've signed Vincent Young, Richard Keogh and Luke Leia from Shrewsbury. I'm probably going to give this one a three. I mean, they have signed two others, but I don't know anything about them. But yeah, I'm going to give them a three. Two. Two. I'm going to give them a four. Like you said, I don't really know anything about it. So yeah, four for me. So, well, there you go, that's League One done. So, there you go, guys. That's end of this video, this League One. Uh, Joe and Alex, Joe, we'll start with you. Where can they find you? Uh, best find me on my YouTube, on my Facebook, on my Instagram. It's Joe Tier on there. I'm sure you'll see me on Alex Duncan's lives. I should do on Bailey's one time. I should do on Bailey's one time. Um, but, yeah, come find me. Come talk to me. I'm happy to chat to everybody. So, yeah. yeah. Alex? Um... Just find me on Tramio's vlogs on Instagram and um, possibly Snapchat, but my main name is just Alex, Alex Duncan on Facebook. So there you go, guys. That's the end of um, this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.